Hey y'all, Preppy Ever After here, and today we're gonna have another theme park Thursday. So I'm sorry for not being on the channel as much as I have been. I really apologize for that. Things have kind of gotten crazy, but if y'all don't know, Disney's planning on reopening really soon. So July 11th and July 15th, Disney will be opening back up their theme parks. They recently reopened Disney Springs. I've not gotten the chance to go back yet, but I thought that today's video would be a great video to share with y'all. So today I'm gonna share with y'all my Mickey Ears collection as today's theme park Thursday. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. So now that my wall is naked, we're going to go over first my Lily Pulitzer ears. So all of these I made myself. They're not the best, but they're definitely cute and admirable from afar. <laughs> this first pair is my Oshalo pair. They are the blue Oshalo um, ones that match my shorts. So whenever I go to Disney, I actually really like to wear this shirt with the shorts and these ears. And it basically says Dinglehopper hair don't care, which is an aerial reference um, for all my Disney people out there. So yes. This is my Ocean Low pair, and I actually, they're super lightweight. I made them with paper and foam board, a little bow, super easy. My other pair of Mickey ears, Lily Mickey ears. I don't remember the print, please forgive me, I'm sorry. I think I actually made them for my mom, but I like to use them as decoration in my room. So there's those print, super cute, with my pink little bow. So yeah, same way I made the other one. So this next pair is another pair of Lily ears made the same way. I don't remember the print name actually. They are ones that match a pair of shorts I have um, and I wear them in the parks all the time. This next pair is called So Appealing. I actually just sold the wrong pair that matches this today. So that was kind of sad, but at the same time I outgrew it. So we will keep an eye out for another outfit to match these ears so I can wear them in the future. And yeah, these are my so appealing ears. Super lightweight, super easy. The only complaint I have with making them out of paper is they don't hold up as well as if they were made like with fabric or felt. So that's my issue there. Don't take them on Splash Mountain. Try not to take them on any water rides like Pirates um, or Frozen. If you do, just hide them under your shirt. That's what I do so they don't get wet. But hey, it works. Um, these matchy Sherpa I have actually. It's Lily inspired, so it's not actually Lily Pulitzer. I don't remember this print name actually. Mm, that is a shame, but there's those. I want to say these are my all-nighter ears. They match my shorts that I have. I actually don't know what I'm going to do because those shorts are starting to get a little bit too small also. So we will keep an eye out. But these are my all-nighter ears to match my all-nighter shorts that are butter covered. So here's these. Same way. They're super cute. And that is all for my Lily Pulitzer collection. Six pairs. I plan on making more in the future. For now, they work as a great decoration for my room. But I'm definitely interested in getting some better quality ears um, made for Lily Pulitzer. So this next pair is the one pair I own that I actually didn't make myself. So these are the light pink ears from Walt Disney World. They are originally, I want to say like $25, $27, they might have gone up. I have no idea. But I would not pay that. I like to go to the outlet store. I got these cute little ears for $5. Now while I love them and they do look cute with some of my Lily outfits, the sequins kill me. They get all stuck in my hair and they can kind of like, I just feel like they're really tight also as compared to the ones that I make myself. So after a long day, they can't hurt, but super cute. Could not pass up on $5 Mickey ears straight from the Orlando outlet. So here's these. This next pair is a frozen pair I made. Um, like I said, I'm not great with sewing, so my ears are not the best quality. That's why I don't sell them. They're just something that I like to make for my trips. They look cute from afar and they don't hurt my head and they're pretty lightweight. So these are my frozen ears I made for an Epcot trip last summer. Um, 
the, this is actually fabric. Um, it's material from Walmart, I believe. And it says Sisters Forever. And it's got Anna and Elsa. Elsa and Anna, whatever I did there. Um, but yeah, I just hot glued the material and went with it. So there's that pair. Super cute if you're going to Epcot, if you're going to meet the characters. Adorable pair. Next pair I actually made for a little like Disney bounding I did. So I was Disney bounding as Vintage Mini. And I made these. So I basically just took an old pair that I had that were just plain black and added a little red um, hat. And then I added a little flower that I got from the Dollar Tree. So super easy. And then I wore my skirt. It was a super cute trip. I can actually put a photo in right here if you guys are interested in what my outfit was for that day. The next pair I made from an old pair of jeans that got ink on them. So here they are. I recently, I wore these in a video for the last theme park Thursday. So yeah, these are my denim ears. I love the pearl just because I love pearls. So they look really cute with my pearl earrings and some pearl necklace. Just cute little ears. They match with just about anything since they're denim and they are definitely one of my go-to pairs. My Tower of Terror ears. I love Tower of Terror. I had matching Tower of Terror shirts last year for a Disney trip so I wore these and they are. This was made on the Cricut and we ironed it on. You can see some of the um, area where the ironing on did not really like the hot glue that I had put there but it kind of gave it a cool effect. So yeah, there's that. And we have our nice little bow. It looks like a little bellhop. Next pair are my Daisy duck ears. They have a cute little feather because she is a duck after all. So they have the nice little pearl, just a little simple, but still adorable. So I wore these on a Disney trip last summer and it was super fun. This next pair is my up ears of our cute little balloons that are actually just pom-poms that I got from the dollar store. <laughs> so as you can tell, I don't really spend that much on making them, but they are super fun to make, super cute to make, super lightweight, super, super great. So if you are ever going on a Disney trip, I strongly recommend getting creative, making your own Mickey ears. It's really fun and they're really cute to collect. So here's these. I drew that and laminated it so it didn't get wet. That's it. These are our birthday ears. So they say, it's my birthday. They are a cute little balloon and some candles, a little cupcake. And then they have a gold trim around them. Fancy, but still adorable. These are one of my favorites, actually. We were going to Hollywood Studios. They had just opened up Toy Story Land. So I had to make some Toy Story Land ears. And these are uh, like one of the very few ears that I've made that were the wire ones with the flowers. I really like them. Um, they just took so much time to make and the wire kind of hurts here. So that's why I put the um, ribbon around it so it didn't hurt as much. They are really cute. I love them. These were a pair of Ursula ears I made for a trip to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party back in October, August, some, whenever we went. It was two years ago, I believe. I dressed up like Eston, so I didn't have ears. But my mom was Ursula, so she wanted these. And these are the little, I don't know what they're called actually. I call them worms. They're like the little dudes that poke out of Ursula's cave, if y'all know what I mean. Um, with her tiara and some little beading. And I like how the beading kind of looks like tentacles. Like, anyways. So there's those, super cute. Perfect for her costume, she really liked them. These, okay. So these look kind of plain, but on the back of them, I put a few hot glue dots and it's cork. And I just painted the cork. So they are pin ears. So if you collect pins, you can put your pins on the ears. You have to say, the smaller pins are better because they're not as heavy. And you have to make sure, like, check throughout the day to make sure none of them fall off or anything like that. But, um, if you hot glue the back, you should be good. I've never had an issue with pins falling off. 
the cast members really liked my ears. They were like, oh my gosh, where did you get those? It's just so cute because it's something different. You don't really see them every day. So there's those. Next pair was one of the very first pairs I ever made. I would probably never wear these, but the fact that I tried is kind of cute. So actually these aren't the very first, these are the second pair. The first pair I made, I'll show you, they didn't turn out as great. But these were supposed to be Animal Kingdom ears. I was trying to give it a jungle, tree of life vibe going on. So if you can see, I like drew in Sharpie um, animals that are on the tree of life. Now from far away, you can never see that. Like you don't even know it. But I just thought that I had done something great by doing that. Um, I wore them for a trip when I was like 13. 14 somewhere in there I don't know I was just proud of the fact that I made my own ears so over time it started something really cool and really fun yeah but hey I tried I also have made other ears for friends family members anyone who wanted a pair of ears basically were just like hey could you make these for me we're going on a trip sure so um with that being said a lot of the ears that I've made won't be in this video here are my Snow White ears. I made my cousin a pair of matching dopey ears. I can put that photo in here. We were going with a Snow White and dopey type theme for um, not the opening of Seven Dwarf Mine Train, but we were just really excited to be able to get on that ride because that is a hard ride to get on. So these are my Snow White ears. I actually just got rid of the shirt that went with these today also. So there's that. It's been pretty productive recently. These are my Christmas ears. So the bells on them were supposed to be like a little hidden Mickey. And they jingle everywhere you go. They're super cute. I ended up making like, I don't know, like three or four pairs of these because we were going with a group. I actually see another pair that are identical to these. Um, I think these were my sister's because she didn't want the ornament. So mine have the ornaments in the ears. They look a little much, but they're cute. So, those there's those. So these are my Hank ears. One year we went to the Halloween party and we went as a group and we were all going as Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory characters. So I was Hank. He's so cute. So basically I just wore an orange outfit so you really cannot tell who I was, but the ears made it. So I really love how these turned out. They are just so cute. People really like them. These are Oogie Boogie ears, and these I actually sewed, well, sewed burlap with black yarn to give it the Oogie Boogie look. And um, I'm not sure if this glows in the dark or not. I'm trying to remember. I couldn't remember if it was on her costume that glowed in the dark or if it was on the ears. But they are squishy and burlap, probably a little itchy, but they made her costume adorable. And that was also for the trip where we were dressing like villains. So I was Gaston, my mom was Ursula, our friend was the evil queen, and Abby was Oogie Boogie. My very last pair of ears is my very first pair of ears I ever made. And looking at them now, the form of them is pretty out there, not gonna lie. I I think, I actually don't think I knew what I was doing, but we were going for a night of joy and I really wanted a pair of Mickey ears to match my, my Stitch shirt and Stitch was my favorite. I really need to make a new pair of Stitch ears now that I've improved since then since I still love Stitch, but I actually know what I'm doing now. So here were the Stitch ears. Have Lilo's pattern over here, Stitch over here, and then little button. I think that's from Hot Topic probably. This was when I was going through the Hot Topic phase, so I don't know. But these were those ears. Um, I, Looking at how I made these, I'm really not sure what I did. I think it was like wire and then I covered it and then went under here. I'm not sure. I definitely prefer what I've been doing now as compared to these, but it is what it is. You learn as you go. So that is my ear collection. I hope y'all enjoyed it. So sorry again for being inactive on my channel. I'm definitely working on being better at that and making more content for y'all. So another thing I've done is I made a Facebook account. 
So if y'all are interested in that, you should definitely join Preppy Ever After on Facebook. So with that being said, I hope y'all enjoyed this theme park Thursday. Love y'all and have a blessed day.